What up, people's internet? My name is Kevin, and welcome back to another video. Okay, guys, so for today's video, I am doing the bookshelf tour, the tour of the bookshelves, which you guys requested for from my last video where I did my reorganization of everything. And of course, I came through and I am making it just for you because I am your bae. I honestly hate myself for saying that. Like, really hate myself for saying it. So I'm sorry. So yeah, we're gonna go through all of these shelves. I'm gonna show you where all of the different books are. We're gonna ignore these shelves all down here because they're an absolute mess and we do not need to go there. Also, my dog, like, just came in and like, on my bed. Hello, fella, come here. Give me a hug. Give me some love. Give me a hug. Hello, they can't see you. Give me a hug. Come here, baba. Hey, yo, baby. Mm. Also, I'm aware that I have like a red spot on my neck and it kind of looks like I got a hickey, but trust me, it's not a hickey. It's from like when I was shaving and I just have a red mark because I don't have a bay. So that just shows how single I am. I wish there was a hickey, but sadly it is not. Just head out to the camera. Look, look, over there, look. Okay, yes, that's great. I love you. You don't want to get your moment here. Your time to shine because you are a star. Hey, Bella, you really need to get down. Hello. Oh. Just hugging my dog, no big deal. Yeah, Bella, you need to get down. You're going to fall. Like, I don't, yes, I love your kisses, thank you, but you need to get down, come on, get down. So I just took her out of the room because I'm gonna get distracted if she's just sitting there being all cute looking at me because I just can't deal with Bella. She's just my little precious and I love her. So without further ado, guys, let's get into the bookshelf tour for 2018. Let's go. Okay, so we're just gonna step back a bit so you guys can get a good view of my bookshelves, so. These are my bookshelves right here, and then my bed is gonna get in the way. Oh, or maybe not. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> we're working with it, guys, we're working with it. So yeah, these are the shelves I said we're going to ignore, so let's just pretend they're not there. And yeah, these are my bookshelves there. The Billy bookcases, I'm pretty sure every single booktuber owns. I feel like it's probably like a law. Anyways, at the very top of my bookshelves, we have got all of my Funko Pops, which I have gone through before in like a Funko Pop tour. So if you'd like to see that, I'll have that link down below so you can go check that video out. So we're just gonna go through all of the different shelves and show you guys the books on it and what I why I put those books there and all that kind of stuff. You know, just being like your trendy booktuber who does a bookshelf tour. Like I'm a professional over here, guys, professional. Okay, so we're first going to start over here. We'll make our way across this direction and just we'll go with the flow. Like, you know, it's very chill. Like, get a drink, have a little, like, beverage and just chit-chat with me, guys, okay? So, on this first shelf over here at the very top, we have got my Percy Jackson series. The random different books that really don't go with Percy Jackson. I just have them here because... The top few shelves, I kind of wanted to have like books that I really, really liked because I want, they're always going to be on display in my videos. So I kind of wanted like books that I really liked to be the ones that you guys could see in the background. Which is The Lightning Chief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth and The Last Olympian, which are all by Rick Riordan. Then we've got Fire and Flood and Salt and Stone, which obviously you guys see the cover because I have that displayed because that cover is just stunning. Like, look at it. Wow. Isn't she beautiful? Because she is. And these are both by Victoria Scott. I would highly recommend both of these books. They're like two of my all-time favorites. I love them so, so much. And then we've got like the Angel Fall trilogy by Susan E over here, which is just Angel Fall, World After, and End of Days. And I've actually only read the first two books of this. I need to still read the last book because yeah, I need to do that. Then we move this direction. So as you can see, once again, we've got two books on display here because I just love the covers of these and I just want them on display, you know what I mean? So over here to the left, we've got all of my John Green books. So we've got Turtles All The Way Down, An Abundance of Catherines, Paper Towns, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, The Faulkner Stars, Looking for Alaska, and Let It Snow, which is also by like Maureen Johnson and Laura Miracle, but John Green also wrote a story in it, so I just felt like it worked with like all of John Green's books. And then I have Turtles All The Way Down on display just because I really like the orange in this cover and I just think it's really pretty, so I just wanted to display that one even though I haven't actually read it yet, so I need to do that. The Hunger Games trilogy, which is The Hunger Games, Catching Fire and Mockingjay. I'm pretty sure everyone knows this series anyway, so yeah. Then I've also got Say Her Name by James Dawson, which is like a scary kind of book, which I absolutely loved. Highly Illogical Behaviour by John Corey Whaley, which I really wasn't that big of a fan of, so I don't know why I have it up here. I just do. Winger by Andrew Smith. Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, which I still need to freaking read, guys. <laughs> I need to read it, and the trailer for the movie is coming out soon. Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick. Uh, when 
went Diplomat Rishi by Sandeya Manon. I really, really love this book. It's so cute and adorable. And I really, really love the cover of this one. So that's why it's on display. And I've got the first two books in the trilogy, I believe this is, of The Me Before You and After You by Jojo Moyes. I've only read the first book. I still haven't read this one, but... Yeah, that's just how I am, guys. And then we move over here, which is like a shelf that's not obviously finished because this is the first time I'm putting books on this bookcase. So I've got like my Chaos Walking trilogy, which is The Knife and Letter Letting Go, The Ask and the Answer, and Monsters of Men, which are all by Patrick Ness. Sick by Tom Levine, which is about zombies, and I would really, really recommend it if you guys have ever heard of it. The first two books in the Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. Because You Love to Hate Me, which is by like a whole bunch of authors and also like a lot of booktubers have like a short story in it. And I still haven't read that, but I just have it over here. That is basically everything for the very top shelf. I don't think we have any bits and bobs to talk about. I think I might just talk about these stuff that I have dangling here. So this is like my book expo and they just fell. Great. Love that. I just got my book con badge from like last year when I went to book con and stuff. And there's like a lot of different badges on it. And yeah, that's basically what that is. And then the other thing that fell that's like right down there is my Shawn Mendes ticket for when I went to like his concert and I had a VIP ticket. So yeah, that's what fell. Moving down to this shelf, which is the second one. So this shelf here is a gay shelf. So yes, Pride Month, everything. So of course we've got a gay shelf, guys. Living for this shelf, one of my faves. So we've got Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde, which is one of my favorite books I've read last year. It was so freaking cute and adorable. And I actually really want to reread that soon especially during Pride Month, like it's just so cute and adorable. And I just love the pink on this. So that is why it's on display. This book is Gay by James Dawson. If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. Vanilla by Billy Morell, which was an arc I got last year, book on, I haven't read. Tash Hearts Tolstoy by Catherine Ormsby. How to Make a Wish by Ashley Blake. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. So that's basically everything on that shelf. So let me move to here, which is basically just a Sarah J Mass shelf, which is just all of her books and um, we've obviously got the throne of glass series so the assassin's blade throne of glass crown of midnight air of fire queen of shadows empire of storms and tower of dawn and i've got the empire of storms cover on display just because i really really like that one i like the orange on it and i just like yeah i just think it looks really badass we've got our court of thorns and roses trilogy and we've got a court of thorns and roses a Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin, and then A Court of Frost and Starlight. And obviously we have Aquawar on display just because I really, really like this cover, especially the green on it. It's just so pretty. We've got like a mug, which is a uh, Throne of Glass related. It just says, you could rattle the stars. And it says Throne of Glass, Sarah J Maas. And then we've also got a White Walker from Game of Thrones, just casually here because I thought he just went with the aesthetic. And over here, we've just got like a thing that my nanny got me for my 18th birthday, which is a picture of me and her. And it's just a nice little quote for my birthday. Then we move down to the third shelf which is one of my faves again we've got all of this here and then we don't talk about this shelf like she is not non-existent we do not speak of her and yes yeah, so we'll start over here which is another gay shelf like these are both my gay shelves and I love these shelves so so much and we've also got on top here just like a little plush toy of Hermione from Harry Potter so let's just take her off for a second over here we've got none of the above by I.W. Gregorio Lily and the Octopus by Stephen Rowley and I just realized this is taller than that so why is that in that order? Because that's going to annoy me. Fixed it because now they're this, th this one is the taller one. So that makes me happy. My Adam Silvera book. So more happy than not. History is all you left me. And they both die at the end. My Becky Albertalli collection. So we've got Love, Simon. The movie edition of Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Then we've got the actual copy of Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Leah on the offbeat. And the upside of Unrequited. And I just have the movie version on display. Just because I love Nick Robinson and I don't think I should say much more about that. Let me move to this shelf and this is just like a lot of my favourite series and stuff like that. So on top we've got like... I don't even remember this guy's name. Do not remember. But anyways, he's from The Walking Dead. Star-Lord, which is from Guardians of the Galaxy, which is quite ironic for me to have, considering I don't even like Marvel movies that much. But I have a Marvel mini Funko Pop, which makes no sense, really. So, yes. Okay, starting here, we've got my Illuminate Files trilogy. So, we've got Illuminate, Gemina, and Obsidio, both by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And we've got Gemina on display because it's my favourite in the trilogy. So, I just wanted to have that one on display. Victoria aviard books so we've got red queen glass sword uh king's cage and Warstorm, and then also cruel crown over here in the corner and i just have Warstorm on display because it's the latest book or the newer 
one out of them all. Got my Veronica Roth books, so we've got Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant, and also four, which are all by Veronica Roth, Cress, and Cinder. Wow, we love an illiterate queen. Like, I clearly couldn't even read the names of that book. Like, it's Cinder and Scarlet, Kevin. Jesus. <sighs> Oh, wow. By Marissa Meyer, which are the first two books in the Lunar Chronicles. So that finishes that shelf. We move down to this shelf, which basically consists of like Cassandra Clare and then just like lots of other books that I just really, really liked. So we have over here in the corner, we have got Half Bad by Sally Green, which I haven't read. And The Testing by Joelle Charbonneau, which I also haven't read. They're just here. <laughs> Maze Runner series, which is obviously The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, The Death Cure, and The Kill Order, all by James Dashner. Sight by Neil Schusterman, which I haven't read, but I really, really want to read it. That's like, like my immediate TBR because I am dying to read this because everyone won't stop talking about it. Then we've got Zenit by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. This is one of my favourite books I've read so far this year and that is why it's on display because I'm just obsessed with this book and I also just love the cover so freaking much. My Cassandra Clare collection, which is quite extensive because she has got a lot of books, but we love a queen who can write a lot of books. Like, yes, Cassie. So, first book we've got is obviously Lady Midnight and then Lord of Shadows, which are the first two books in the Dark Artifices series. The Bane Chronicle which is by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and also Maureen Johnson. The Infernal Devices series, so Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. And I have Clockwork Princess on display just because I really love this cover and I also love that book so, so much. It's my favourite out of all three. So she has to be on display because she just means everything to me. The Moral Instruments series, so we've got City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and then the finale which is City of Heavenly Fire, which also destroyed me. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, and we've also got the Miss Peregrine's Trilogy, which is now going to be a series because book four is coming out soon. And so we've got Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, and Library of Souls, which is all by Ransom Riggs. We've also got a shelf over here we're not going to look at because she's a mess. And that's basically everything that's on this shelf. Okay, so we're just going to start over at this shelf, which is right below this one. So over here we've got my Fifth Wave trilogy, so obviously The Fifth Wave, The Infinite Snee, and The Last Star, all by Rick Yancey, Wrath in the Dawn, The Rose and the Dagger, and then Flame in the Mist, Titans by Victoria Scott, which I'm still like currently reading because my bookmark is still in it. Then we've got Snow Like Ashes, which has a little bit of a rip in it, so that's really, really sad, which is by Sarah Rash. The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings, and then Zodiac by Romina Russell. Over here, we've kind of just got like a lot of contemporaries, and then also like a lot of YouTuber books. This is really, really hard for me to film because I do not have a lot of space between my bed and my bookshelves, and I'm a tall person, and this is really awkward for me to film right now, guys. But anyways, I'm gonna do it for you because I'm just, I'm just great, okay? Holding up the universe, and All the Bright Places, all by Jennifer Niven. What Life by Jay Asher. The Disruptible History of Frank Landu Banks and We Were Liars, which are both by E. Lockhart. Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. The 12 Days of Dash and Lily. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List. They're all by David Levithan and Rachel Kahn. You Know Me Well by David Levithan and Nina LaCour. We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallock. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Uh, Margot and Me by Juno Dawson. The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. One Day by David Nichols. Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Lord of the Flies by William Golding. There's two books in the School for Good and Evil series, which is The School for Good and Evil and A World Without Princes, both by Saman Chinani. Then we've got my YouTuber books, which I just realized this book is taller than the rest of them, so that's really annoying me. You Deserve a Drink by Mamrie Hart. Then we've got No to Self and a Work in Progress, both by Connor Franta. I Hate Myself and It Gets Worse by Shane Dawson. Follow Me by Ricky Dillon. Adult Lessons by Gabby Hanna. In Real Life and Children of Eden, both by Joey Graceffa, and I'm still like currently reading this one. Really Professional Internet Person by Jen McAllister. Me, Me, Me and Brand New Me, but both by Charlotte Crosby. Then we've got Binge by Tyler Oakley and Don't Try This At Home by Keen and JC. And down here at the very, very bottom, we've just got like a lot of comic books or like graphic novels all down here. And so we've got like The Walking Dead Compendium 1 and The Walking Dead Compendium 2. Then we've got The Saga, which are the first five volumes, I believe. These image first 
compendiums, which I've never really read, and I probably actually might unhaul them, which I didn't do in my last video, but I'm probably gonna unhaul both of these. Amulet Volume 1 and Amulet Volume 2 by Kazu Kabushi. Jism and Unity, both by Laura Maisano. And then we've got The World Beyond Sight Upon Arrival by Joshua Delaney. Then we move across to here, and basically we just got a lot, a lot of books down here, kind of ones that don't really mean a lot to me, to be honest, which are the ones down here. Oxy by Alex London. Then The Raven Cycle, the first three books, which is uh, The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, and Blue Lily Lily Blue by Maggie Stiefvater. Rotten Rune by Jonathan Mayberry. Uh, the Enemy by Charlie Higson. The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. The Warrior Heir by Cinda Williams Chima. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. The Alpha Drive and The Order of Omega, both by Kristen Martin. Monument 14 Trilogy, which is Monument 14. Sky on Fire and Savage Drift. Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Uh, the first two books in the Darkest Minds trilogy, which is The Darkest Minds, and Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken. Rush by Eve Silver. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Another copy of Cinder by Marissa Meyer. School of Deaths and Sword of Deaths by Christopher Menino. Iron Child by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And then The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. And that is basically everything down at the very, very bottom shelf, which was really hard for me to film because I look like, look at the space between my bed and the bookshelves. Like guys, I can't fit down there. That is basically my bookshelves and that is it for my bookshelf tour. So guys, that is gonna be it for my bookshelf tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This is like the best I've ever seen my bookshelves looking and I really, really love how they look. And I'm just so proud. Like these are all my babies and they just look really great. And I just feel so happy with myself. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I I shall see you all next time in my next video. So goodbye guys.